Hi, we're back. I've added some more water to the pot. Um, I also added some spices. Um, cumin, or cumin, I don't know if people say it differently. Italian seasoning. I didn't really want to add Italian seasoning. What I wanted to uh, add was rosemary, but I didn't just have that in um, alone, so we got the whole thing. I don't know if it's going to make any difference to this, but I thought I'd give it a try. Also, what I did was I stirred these little babies up so that the ones that were in the center moved out to the side. So let's see if you can see the little rotten one that was in sort of in the middle is now on the edge. You know? And look at look at this house opening. Can you see that? It's kinda nice, right? It's kinda it starts to open. And they just they just so pretty. They're like little flowers. Um so oops, sorry kind of hard to do a cooking show and film at the same time. But I'm going to add a little more water. And um, I'm just going to remove these back down into the center. I don't really want them sitting on the edge like that. Like You notice the reason I move them is that this, this doesn't, the stove doesn't seem to be completely level. Some of the water seems to just kind of rotate down to the side, to this end. So. I don't want them to cook unevenly, so I just kind of shift things around. And I also will shift the pot around. I'm going to spritz these guys one more time. And they look very pretty. And I'm going to cover them up. And we'll be back. Hey there. I just took this one out and um, cut it up to test it. See, it's still pretty hot. You have to sort of have asbestos hands to peel them when they're still hot. But I'm going to test this and see where it is. And they're kind of like potatoes. Like you, you know when they're done because they have a certain uh, kind of kind of crunchiness to them. So I'm going to test this and let you know. What? Hmm. If you can see the white part in there, that kind of means that it's still not done. Though, this part is definitely the done part, but it's very good. I love chestnuts. So, we still have more time. I'm chewing as I'm talking. My mother would be so upset with me. And, um, I'll come back to you when we finish this. Hey there! I had to change the batteries on the camera. Um, this camera seems to use up batteries like crazy if I need to get uh, rechargeable ones. Voila! Almost done. It's taking a little longer to roast these with the extra chestnuts in there. But um, I did test a large one and I did test a smaller one. And I would have showed you that, but I ate them right up because, well, they were good. And um, I, I did find that adding the spices is nothing in terms of flavoring. Whew, I like that, like that. In terms of flavoring the chestnuts, but it certainly smells nice when I put water in, so hey, what the heck. There you go. I tested the largest, a uh, largest one, like this size. And, and it was still a little sort of chewy and not as nice and moist and tender, so and giving them a little bit more time. I did try a smaller one, like one like this size, and it was it was fine. And they don't seem to suffer in there um, as long as they're moist, so I just don't bother with them. I just leave them in there and let them all roast up together. But you can see how they just, you know, they kind of open up. And they become nice and blossomy. I don't like them. Um, I'm trying to think what else opens up like that, but what the heck. Can you smell the rosemary? Mmm, it's kind of delicious. Alright, I think that's going to be it in terms of anything else that we're going to be doing with this pot. I think the next time you come back and we look at this, they'll be in a bowl and I'll be munching on them. I just want to let you know that they are really hot like this. They are little compact, they're like baked potatoes. They 
holding all their heat. So usually what I do is when I'm testing one, I'll just pop it out and I'll just slice it in half and let it cool off and then take all the, the outer casing off and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you have found this kind of interesting. Well, if not interesting, at least entertaining. And maybe you'll test it on, um, test it for yourself. See you soon. I'll come back and show you what they would look like in the bowl. Bye. Just want to show you one all kind of opened up and steamy. And how it kind of looks inside. And you can really sort of see when it starts to get kind of translucent. They're, they're kind of done. And this one's kind of done. I'd, I'd peel it for you, but I can't do that with my hand and holding the camera. But you really do want to get all this sort of brown stuff off. And um, like that. And get to the meat underneath. And that's usually best when they're sort of warm, but you got to be able to have some of asbestos hands when you do that. Oops, sorry. I told you I can't peel at the same time. There you go. Isn't that nice? Very nice. So there you go. The chestnuts are done. They look beautiful, I think. I think they look beautiful. Those babies. They're steaming. They're hot. And um, you can eat a couple and you can keep them in the refrigerator if you like and have them tomorrow. They're great cold. But usually with this many, I just end up eating them through the night. So it's a lot of work for just a few chestnuts, but I have to tell you, it's, it's great fun. And since chestnuts only come around, at least here, a, a couple of times a year, it's w well worth it. But I would suggest if you're going to do anything like try to make a bigger type of meal like chestnut and, and soup or uh, a favorite thing that you may think would sound strange but actually is really good is chestnuts and Brussels sprouts. A little butter, salt and pepper, they're really good. But I would buy the canned chestnuts for that. Just because they come, the skin's already off them, they're really clean, they taste good, and um, it's a lot less work. But this is kind of fun. It's like, you know, cracking nuts or anything else. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's kind of entertaining. There you go. Chestnuts cooked on a pan, which is now cooling. I've turned off the heat so this poor pan will not roast and, and burn anymore. It is warm in the house, but it's not as warm as it would have been if I had been cooking this in the oven. So thank you for that. And just in case you were wondering, this is my kitchen. See ya!